This is Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time we have Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Megatron. So before we go into the actual figure here, I just want to give a quick shout out to somebody on Instagram, Batman Collector Law. Uh, he is a person that just kind of out of the blue asked if I wanted a Voyager Class Megatron, and of course I did. I am, uh, you know, I've been very excited for this figure and just waiting to find it myself. Um, and uh, he, he just offered to send it to me, so he, he sent me this figure, which was incredibly nice and thoughtful and uh, I'm super excited and happy to have it. I will be definitely putting a, uh, a link to his Instagram in the description of this video and he's also uh, I believe going to start doing videos on YouTube as well so uh, once he started that that link will be in the description uh, as well. So let's get on to this figure. Very excited to have this figure. It's been one that uh, I've been very much looking forward to. Going to the packaging real fast we have a nice image of Megatron on the side there. That just looks awesome. I'm loving the artwork that they're doing on these packages. They, they just look awesome. On the back, of course, you have an image of the figure and uh, and then the other figure in this wave, which is Hound. Hound is uh, a figure I definitely plan to get as well. The coloring on this figure is so different, though, on the package uh, than it is in person. I think in person, the coloring is actually a bit better than that. Going over the actual figure here, here's his uh, jet mode. We don't see him in this too much. Uh, mainly it's just kind of like wide shots that we see him in this jet mode, but it is still very cool. Uh, it's very, kind of harkens back to the Transformers 1 2007 uh, type of design where it's more of a, a Cybertronian jet. Um, but that's, you know, it's very clearly a jet, unlike his Revenge of the Fallen one, which was kind of a uh, kind of mix. But overall, I think that it looks very nice. You do have uh, some cool thrusters. One thing that's a little disappointing is that these thrusters they look like they should be in the back, but they're in the front, which is a little odd. However, it still does look very nice, and uh, it looks you know it, it's it's not super slick in some areas, but because it's supposed to be Cybertronian, like you know who's to say that that doesn't look right? So uh, I do still like it a lot. His axe, of course, can fit right there. It can be put on forward as well and then there is a spot on the front where you can put it but it doesn't tab in very well because it's kind of at an angle but you can do that there if you'd like um, I don't think it looks very good on the jet mode in any place but at least you have a place to store it uh, but you go to the bottom here it's very compact looks very nice you know there's not uh, really any robot pieces that you can like clearly identify on it which is very cool and then I do like the wings the wings are very thin it looks very nice the jet mode in general is very thin it doesn't there's really no areas that hang down too far which is great and then the coloring on it is this kind of uh, he's got an interesting color I don't know what I call it it's kind of like a it's a mixture between a gray black and like a bluish um, but it looks very cool I do like it and then you have some metallic blue pieces right there and then you have uh, just kind of like a, a flat gold basically it does look very nice I do like the coloring on it quite a bit but this jet mode does look very nice and you know is very compact too which is great so uh, let's transform him into his robot mode all right, so transform or transformation is pretty simple um, to start it off you're just gonna want to kind of unplug a bunch of pieces unplug these two areas from the front here. these This thruster piece is kind of plugged into two areas so you can kind of move the wing down and to the side a bit. Move the wing down and to the side and then you can unplug it there. Rotate it up just like that. You can just move this up just to get it slightly out of your way. With this section you want to take the feet, they're plugged into the uh, wings there, just kind of rotate them, swing them down and then take the wings, it folds up into two places, there's a little peg right there and a hole on the wing and you can just plug it right in. There we go, just like that and then rotate it. Same thing on this side. Move that, rotate it down, fold the wing and rotate the leg and then boom you have the legs done completely. These little sections here, just want to rotate these like that, rotate them like that you can move this down and move these down as well and then you have the entire bottom section of the figure complete basically over here you just kinda wanna unplug the arms like that then they can just kinda rotate out just kinda leave them like this and then open these two which is uh, his chest panels at the front here you can just kinda open this up just like this rotate the head forward you can move this up yeah, before you put down this like cockpit piece, you want to rotate this up so then you can put down the cockpit piece over the, the back section, which kind of locks it in place basically. 
Then to the front here, keep these open. Just go until it plugs in. Plugs in, very sturdy. Uh, with the gun, you want to rotate it to the front and fold this down. In package, when you get it right straight out of package, this gun will be folded like this, so make sure even when you just take it out of package, you, you fold the gun out. Then you can pull the hands out. Of course, and boom! You're basically set. There he is in his robot mode. Uh, again, I do like the transformation. It's it's nice. There's you know a fair amount to do, um, but it's pretty simple. And uh, I, I do like simple transformations. I don't like ones that are like overly difficult. Um, that's just me though. You know, I'd prefer to have a, a simple one because most of the time I don't even transform uh, transformers too much. I, I leave them in robot mode 90% uh, of the time. So I, I don't like a super difficult transformation. This transformation is pretty easy. You can kind of just see where everything goes. Goes in uh, and everything clicks together very nicely in the jet mode, which I do like quite a bit. Going over the actual figure now in his robot mode, he looks great. This is a really nice figure on display at like Toy Fair. It didn't look this good. You know, I don't know what it was, but um. It looked like it was kind of hard to tell what was going on in some areas, uh, but in person it, it's very compact, it's very slick, and uh, it just it has a, uh, a really nice um, proportion setting, I'd say. Like, the proportions are really good on it. Going over the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks great, I have to say. Have an excellent likeness to Megatron. Looks very vicious. My only complaint with the head sculpt is I kind of have two things. Is the one is that there's just there's a lot of colors going on. You have like that bluish gray in the center, and then at the top and bottom you have more of a silver. Then his thigh side uh, horns are more of like a flat kind of a dull gray, and then his eyes are red, and the top of his head is red for some reason, and then his mouth is gold. There's just, there's too many colors going on. I would definitely like there to be like a max of two colors plus the red eyes. I think that would have been a lot better than this, which is kind of full of stuff. Um, my other issue is that there's no way to give him his battle mask. I think he looks better with the battle mask, just in the movie, uh, so I definitely would have liked a way to display him like that, whether his face transformed into a battle mask, or even if he just came with a second head sculpt, I know that's not really a, uh, um, a, Transformers usually don't come with second head sculpts, but I would have definitely liked to see that happen. Um, but instead you do, basically you're forced to buy the leader class to get the battle mass version. But at least there is a, a version of Megatron coming out with that um, option. Uh, the torso looks really nice. I do like the way that the tor tor torso transforms. And what's kind of cool is it's not like just something that's under the jet, you know? The torso actually does kind of transform because you put the chest pieces on and everything like that. So I do kind of appreciate that, although it is a small thing. Got a nice Decepticon symbol right there. Um, the, the waist section, I, I would have liked this to be a bit different as far as maybe these pieces to be a little bit closer together and a little bit forward. I think that would have been nice. And uh, these pieces do look good. They kind of like form like skirts almost. It would have been kind of neat if they kind of rotated to the back maybe a little bit. Um, but overall, you know, that's very much nitpicking. I think it looks very nice. The legs transform really well. I do like the way that the wings kind of wrap around his calves there. Um, gives him, you know, a bulkier uh, look on his legs. And then his feet obviously had the three toes. And what's great is that he has ankle rockers. I love a transformer with ankle rockers. I love a figure with ankle rockers. So those are just like the most necessary joint possible. So I'm very happy that he does have that. The shoulders are very cool. And what I do like is the fact that, uh, you know, it looks like there wouldn't be much articulation at the shoulders. But when you move his arm up, then the panel flips out, which is very cool. They could have easily just not had this panel on there, which they, you know, I would have expected them to do and have it just be open like this. But it's so much better to be able to close it when his arm is down just is much more compact and slick so I do like that a lot uh, again with his coloring he maintains the same color scheme that he does in jet mode um, however the the gold pieces just kind of are, are more um, dispersed on this uh, in robot mode and I think it does look very nice I like the uh, the gold sections although I don't I don't remember him with gold in the movie um, but nonetheless I still think it looks very cool like I've done a lot of repaints on the last night figures and this one I don't really see a need to. I mean, just making it a little more silver would be kind of neat, and again, fixing up some of the, a lot of the paint on the face would be nice, but overall, I don't think it's very necessary. Um, on the, his back here, as you can see, very compact. He doesn't really have a backpack. I mean, this cone is the closest thing you have to a backpack, and that is, it's, it's so small and slight, so he's very compact, which is awesome, and that's something that we don't typically get with Transformers. Uh, I will say the last night figures have been quite compact so far, which is very cool. 
His articulation is quite good. He's got a ball joint that's kind of on a hinge, so he can look up a bit. And then, of course, it is on a ball joint as well. Uh, he has ball hinge shoulders. Uh, the shoulder swivel, you know, 360, of course. And like I showed you, they can go out uh, completely. He has a swivel at the bicep single hinge elbows, but they go more than 90 degrees, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, you do have a big gap here. Would have been cool if there was a panel that could close up once you take the hands out, something like that. But again, that's a, that's a, a fairly minor complaint. Um, the wrists are just on a hinge, so they can hinge down, uh, but they don't swivel, which is okay with the gun here. I'm completely fine with that. Uh, when he holds his axe, so it would be kind of nice if it swiveled, but you have such a nice swivel at the bicep, it doesn't matter too much. No uh, waist articulation. He's got ball jointed thighs, which can go out this far. These obviously articulate so they get out of the way, and then the side panels articulate as well, so he has excellent range there. Swivel at the bicep, single hinge knees, which go about 90 degrees, and then you have the ankle pivots like I did mention. The ankle pivots are great. So his articulation is quite good and the really nice range on the um, elbows and on the ankles really help to get some awesome poses with this guy. Uh, and then his gun, I really love his gun. It's it's the perfect size and there's no like gimmick with it. I don't know why, just I kind of like expected a gimmick. So to get his gun where it's just a sculpted gun is really cool. You know, it doesn't fire anything. There's, it doesn't, you know, click and have something that extends on it. Nothing, no dumb stuff like that. It's just simply a gun and it just looks great. Uh, you know, without the gimmick, it allows it to look so much more slick, which I do like a lot. His axe here looks very nice. As you can see, you do have this tab, which can plug on to his back at the cone section. So if you want, you can have it plugged in there. And again, it's very discreet, you know, it doesn't look bad. Um, and then of course he can hold it in either hand. Uh, the one without the gun though is the obvious choice. There you go. And as you can see, it looks awesome. You know, I definitely did like his axe in the movie, although he never really uses it. He takes it out, but he never, like, does anything with it. But it still does look very nice. I do like it quite a bit because of the awesome elbow articulation. You can have it where he's pulling it out of his back there, like he's been storing it on his back. You can have him where he's resting it on his shoulder, which looks pretty awesome like that. Look at that. That looks so sweet. You know, put the gun up. Ooh, you've got a mean looking Megatron right there. Ooh, that, that is just awesome. Posing this guy is very fun and he does, he feels very sturdy, very, uh, the, his joints are very stiff as well, that's another thing. Uh, he just, he feels like a very well made figure, which I do like a lot. And uh, the character, obviously I'm a huge Decepticon fan, so to have a really nice, well made a Megatron figure is excellent. I've liked a lot of the Voyager class Megatron figures in the past. This would be one of the best, if not the best, it might be the best. Um, I do really like the uh, uh, Dark of the Moon one, although it's a bit skinny. However, I kind of like that skinny proportion, um, but it might not be accurate because it's so skinny. Uh, but I do really love this Megatron figure. Doing some comparisons here, let's get a few Decepticons from the last night in. Here's Berserker, as well as um, Barricade, custom painted, obviously. So as you can see, he does look very nice with them. I think the proportions there are pretty good. Uh, when you, we see Megatron at Stonehenge, it looks like the, this is the proportion between him and Barricade, so I do think that that is quite nice. And uh, they do look very cool together. And now comparing it to his brother, once, uh, we have Megatron, or sorry, I mean Optimus Prime. So as you can see, they look very cool together. Megatron does seem to be a bit bigger than Optimus. I mean, I think Optimus is the slightest bit taller, but the bulk on Megatron makes him bigger. Uh, so I do like that quite a bit. And as you can see, Megatron just looks like a better figure. Especially, I mean, this is obviously a custom painted uh, Optimus, but uh, when, when he's not custom painted, Optimus looks like a much cheaper figure than, uh, than Megatron. So I do definitely love uh, what they've done with Megatron. I think this is an excellent figure. I would absolutely recommend it to any Transformers fan. I do plan to get the leader class Megatron as well. Um, however, I, I, you know, before, uh, before I saw a lot of pictures of this guy and before obviously I got him in person, I was expecting this to be much uh, less than the leader class version. And now after getting in person, I, I've watched a review too. It looks like this is, this is like almost uh, as good as the leader class, or at least it's a perfectly good substitute. So I'm almost, I'm not even as excited for the leader class anymore because this one is so good. The only thing that I'm really excited for with the leader class is some of the things that this guy doesn't have, like 
the battle mask and the fire flame accessory. But overall, this is an excellent figure. I would highly recommend it. Um, again, a big shout out to the person that sent it to me, which was so kind and so nice and allowed me to get the figure earlier too. So very happy about that. Again, his, uh, his Instagram page will be linked in the description of this video. Wonderful figure, would absolutely recommend it, and I'm very excited to get Nitro to go with him. Uh, I think that uh, the two of them will look very cool together. So, there you go, that's my very review of the Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Megatron figure. Let me know what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.